What do you see the soft spot and also the uh, the tripwire on the Saints schedule? Well, I think it's the latter part of the season. Like you talked about, I think it starts really at week six or seven, somewhere in there, and it's, there's a stretch. There's a stretch where you got you got to be grown. And so if you haven't found your, 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 your groove by then, it's going to be forced upon you. I know there's a short week. Uh, uh, I think you have Arizona on a Thursday night uh, somewhere in there as well. So, I mean, it's, it, it, it's going to be interesting. It will definitely be interesting. Yeah, I mean, we, you should start there with the, the Cardinals on, on Thursday night football, but you've got, man, you got the Ravens, the Steelers, the Niners, the Rams, the uh, Buccaneers. That's clearly the core of this schedule. If they can somehow come out of this 500 or maybe a game or two above 500, that's clearly a big win for the Saints. Oh, I agree 100%. And here's the other part of it. I mean, we're looking at it from last year's perspective. You know, how does injuries affect each team? Yep. How yep. does injury affect the Saints? I mean, and so your depth will start to get tested right there. Uh, what what you're able to, uh, you know, potentially sign going forward, what you're able to sign during the season will play a factor in that as well. Deuce, uh, the over and under on the Saints is eight wins. I don't know if you gamble or not. I don't really care. But if you were, would you take the over or the under? I'm going to take the over. I got them winning probably at least 10 games, 11 games. And so wow. uh, that's just what the talent, that's just what the talent that they have. I don't put a lot into, oh, you lose Sean Payton and he's worth at least two wins for you, you know, three wins. Uh, I think they have overall better probably talent uh, than, than, than people probably give them credit for. Yeah, I would agree with that um, in terms of this year composed to last year. I think they upgraded with Tyron Matthew. You agree? Uh, if, if, if not upgrade, uh, you know, it, it broke it's even. even, yeah, at worst you broke even. No, I definitely agree with you there. I mean, I think, you know, his productivity, if his health, uh, on the, on the back end is probably worth at least three to four more turnovers. And, you know, just from a leadership standpoint, you shouldn't have as many big plays or busts. Uh, you know, it'll take some time for those guys to kind of jail as well. And then, you know, the uncertainty, what happens with Alvin and then the uncertainty, how, how Jameis comes back, you know, that has to factor into it as well.